Alright guys, welcome to the video. In today's video, we're going to be starting off by doing something a little different here. I recently received this package from GDC, which is Gentleman Drivers Club, and it's actually started by a buddy of mine who we've been chit-chatting over YouTube and Instagram for about a year now, actually. Uh, he used to own a 3.7 liter V6 Mustang like I have now, and he recently upgraded to a V8 uh, Corvette C6, so, you know, it's nice to see him moving on with his cars and whatnot. But he also had a very similar idea or at least I've had a similar idea to this, what he's actually went ahead and did. Uh, he started a Gentleman's Drivers Club. It's an apparel brand uh, that's basically more mature. You know, you see a lot of stuff nowadays. And the way he described it in his videos, you know, you see stuff, uh, people saying, oh, got boost. And, you know, those shirts are cool. You know, they have those nice jokes and whatnot. But there's nothing really mature that you probably want to wear around or, you know, just wear through a company or go to a company picnic in or something like that. Uh, you know, you're not going to wear those graphic tees. So he went ahead and uh, he started his company. It's something like a I said hey, I think it's really cool it's something that I've actually thought of myself uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually do it a package opening right now for you guys Let's see what we got here in the bag so we have a nice key tag right here uh, it says what drives you if you guys can see that that does look really nice uh, Wow, this is really nice quality too. Uh, gentleman's drivers club is on the back as well So he says what drives you which I really do like that slogan uh, Then of course you have the emblem on there and then I have a shirt in here and it looks like we have a letter as well And uh, let's see here. Oh, yep so he sent me a shirt and it's the GDC logo right here. Of course, I will be putting his information in the description. That way you guys can check out what he has. Definitely does have a nice website going. I'm um, reading this card now. It says, on behalf of our staff, we would like to officially congratulate you on becoming the newest member of the Gentleman's Driving Club. Join our email list for exclusive offers, free gifts, and giveaways. So this definitely is a nice thing that he has going. But now what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to start talking about the topic of today's video, which is the Mustang 0-60 to times. Now, as you guys may know, I recently did retweet the vehicle and we are on the MPT 87 octane tune so I decided to do some new 0 to 60 tests because with the 93 basically the best time that I was able to get was 5.4 0 to 60 and I will say before I show you guys these clips and you know my attempts at getting a better 0 to 60 time or just doing a 0 to 60 time in general uh, there is a lot of driver error here uh, you know some people will say that's why you get the automatic because it's faster um, you know that's that's not really what I'm trying to be is the fastest. Uh, I think it's actually more challenging uh, with the manual and more rewarding in a way. Once you do have a good time, you know, when you see a guy with, you know, a nine second quarter mile time and he's in a manual transmission compared to an automatic, you know, of course they're both still fast, but you know, I still give a little bit more credit to the driver in the manual car because, you know, an automatic, you're just kind of basically sitting there letting the car do the shifting for you. I mean, you might hit the paddles, but you know, it doesn't take as much work with the clutch and, you know, launching at just the right RPMs. So, you know it is going to be a little more, more challenging for me i will say now before i show you these times that i do feel like this car still is a you know a five second zero to sixty car uh, I even said that with the uh, MPT 93 octane tune uh, that this car definitely is a lot faster than when I was able to drive it Like I said, there's a whole bunch of variables of me doing it But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the first clip and show you guys what my first attempt was So as you guys just saw right there, I was able to get a 5.6060, which is 0.2 higher than my previous time on the 93 octane tune. But what I really want you guys to pay attention to here, uh, if you go back and watch the video, and if you want to rewind it, I'll probably put it in again, uh, just so you guys can see what I'm launching at and whatnot. If you do have any tips, you know, go ahead and comment down below. Like I said, there is a lot of user error, and I definitely do have to learn how to drive the car better. Um, but if you look at the times here, uh, on the 5.4, which is the fastest time that I got with the uh, MPT, 93 octane tune uh, I have a 0 to 30 so my 0 to 30 miles per hour I was able to get a 2.8 on that but on this attempt I was able to get a 2.4 but yet I still ended up with a 5.6 which is slower than the uh, my 93 octane tune so basically uh, you know I definitely do think that there is some spinning right there going on that has to be you know I feel like the only thing that could really be preventing me from going fast in this situation is when I'm shifting or maybe I'm not shifting fast enough right there uh, that's where I'm losing that time because 2.4 uh, compared to that 2.8 as far as 0 to 30 miles an hour goes that is a huge difference but then all of a sudden you know uh, I lose it basically in the last 30 miles an hour uh, right there so um, you know it is interesting to look at like I said if you have any idea what guy could be doing better or what what's the general RPM to launch at or just what you saw from the video clip go ahead and let me know but now I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the next clip and show you guys what I got on my next attempt So 
so I just got into the 5.7 uh, higher 5 0 to 60 time um, personally I do believe that this car can run in the higher or lower fives easily I just have to become a better driver so as you guys just saw right there I did get a 5.70 to 60 now I do apologize for not really having that time slip uh, really clear and easy for you guys to read I didn't take a picture of that one exactly uh, so I'll try and zoom in out the best I can but I did get a 5.70 to 60 time and I don't really have the 0 to 30 miles an hour but you know like I said if you still watch that attempt there's still a lot of wheel spin definitely still I could still be doing better uh, and I do feel like I kind of bogged down a bit and I just really want to get this car on a prep track surface and it might even be a tire issue maybe I'm spending too much uh, you know I don't want to have too big of tires of course I'm not gonna have 315s on here uh, because then with 315s you know there's gonna be too much tire for the car uh, really so I'm gonna bog every time but then I guess with even wider tires I'd be able to launch at a higher RPM maybe maybe somewhere around 4,000 which is really where the torque is around in this car so uh, you know that could be a factor maybe I need to look at getting in better tires or whatnot and really getting on a prep surface is something I really want to do but like I said 5.7 and um I also do have a couple attempts that I'm sorry I didn't really get to record uh, the actual times. Let me go ahead and look at these real quick because I do have them on my phone. Uh, I do have a 5.9060 time read here uh, with a 2.6 um, 0 to 30 time compared to the 2.8. So like I said, I was faster, uh, especially like I said in the first attempt. Uh, and then again in this attempt, you see that I'm faster from my 0 to 30 miles an hour. And I'm guessing from that 1-2 shift is when I'm spinning, I'm just losing a lot of time because uh, then we go back to 5.9 so you know that really sucks and then I also have another 5.90 to 60 time and I do have that attempt right here so I'm gonna go ahead and cut to that right now So definitely a problem with me driving the car. So as you guys just saw that attempt, I actually did bog a little in that one too. At least I felt like I was bogging in traction control that action came on, so maybe it was traction control cutting power. That's another thing, all these attempts did have traction control on, so maybe I should have probably tried to cut traction control off. Even though it was around 48 degrees outside, which I don't think is really bad temperature as far as making power with the engine, uh, but as far as traction and whatnot, I feel like I, I think it's supposed to be uh, better traction of the warmer outside, uh, the colder outside, the more you're going to spin so uh, that's why I basically left traction control on all these attempts so that is something I probably need to look into as well um, another thing that I know with doing all these attempts is are basically doing these 0 to 60 times uh, and quarter mile times when I get to that point I basically have to practice and you know like I said with the automatic you don't really have to practice you do but you know but with the manual definitely gonna have to take a lot of practice with launching and shifting and it just takes a lot of skill you really can't just hop in and try and do the best time or expect the best results right off the bat so you know that's something I know I do have to work on uh, and the only problem with it is I just don't want to beat on my own car like that because you know I will wear my clutch out and whatnot but you know you do have to get good at it eventually so you know um, who knows I I'll figure that out later on but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut to my very last attempt here let you guys go ahead and watch that. So as you guys just saw right there, I was able to do a 5.80 to 60 time, which is still a lot slower than what it should be, uh, you know. And then again, comparing this, like I said previously, the zero to 30 mile per hour times, uh, this is 2.4 compared to my fastest one with the 93 octane tune. Again, uh, I had a 2.8 with the 93 octane tune. Uh, so this is again something that I really, I'm really just mind blown about that the fact that either I'm spinning like I said please tell me what's going on because uh, I'm doing something wrong here something's going on with the car it has to be that I'm spinning or maybe my shifting just isn't fast enough because for me to have a, a 2.4 0 to 60 time or not 0 to 60 sorry uh, 0 to 30 time and then go to 5.8 which is uh, slower than my 93 octane tune uh, it just doesn't make any sense to me or maybe it's the fact that the tune you know is because you know our horsepower is going to be on the higher end of the power band and you know so maybe it's the fact that I don't have the same amount of horsepower and maybe that's why I was able to recover in my 93 octane tune with the 2.8 0 to 30 mile an hour time so you know that could be a factor but I really am curious to see exactly what is going on with the car if you guys enjoyed the video like I said go ahead and leave a like on it and definitely let me know what you think I should be doing different or you know if you have any tips as far as how I can be driving this car better 
better and how to really get the best performance times or if you even have a zero to 60 time of yourself tell me what you've been getting whether it be stock or whether you're tuned right now uh, go ahead and tell me your mods down below and whatnot that way I can get a good idea what other people are running other than that guys I'll catch you guys in the video <laughs> Thank you.